today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make this. Welcome back guys to another, welcome back guys to another tutorial. I know it's been a while. I said that last time, I say it every video. But before we even get into that, I just wanna thank you guys because we are at 1.5 thousand subscribers. Like that's insane. And I've been gone for like months. So you guys really enjoy my tutorials. So because of that, every other Monday, I'm gonna be posting a tutorial. Well. Uh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to every other Monday because we are actually really close to getting monetized. And like, that's seriously like one of my big goals is to get monetized on YouTube and start getting paid on here. And tutorials always seem to do really good on here. And it seems like that's what you guys wanna see. So every other Monday at 5 p.m. Mountain Time, I'm gonna be uploading a new tutorial. And the tutorials are mostly gonna be like VFX based tutorials, like in After Effects, Blender. But I'll also have other tutorials such as like cinematography, Photoshop, and like kind of stuff similar to that. There's honestly so much I could talk about right now, but I'm gonna save that for another video. So without further ado, let's just get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start by deleting the light from the scene. Then next we are going to add a plane. And then over here, we're gonna change it to cycles and then change that to GPU compute. Then we're gonna go down to film and click the transparent checkbox. Then with our plane selected, we are gonna go to visibility and check the shadow catcher. These steps are pretty similar to the last Blender tutorial we had. So you can really just also follow that if you want. And then we're gonna change this to environment texture and then we are gonna open our HDRI. And then just for convenience, I'm gonna go ahead and split the screen. So on this screen, I'm gonna uncheck a few options so we can really see everything. And then I'm gonna click zero on my keyboard. And then we're gonna click the rendered view. And then in the bottom half screen, we're gonna change this to the shader editor. And then next with the camera selected, we're gonna go over here and click background image, add image, and then movie clip, and then go ahead and then go ahead and add your footage. You can add an image if you want instead of a video because in the end, we're not actually burning out a animation. We're just gonna be rendering out like an image pretty much. All right, now that we have our scene set up, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of build the environment a little. I'm gonna start by adding a cube and then I'm just gonna remake this little wall right here. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and start building the actual portal. Por huh? and then next, I'm gonna go ahead and actually start by creating the portal. And there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. The way I did this is I just got some assets off of productioncrate.com. They have a bunch of really good assets that you can use. And you can also use like other 3D softwares like Sketchfab, other websites, I can't think of any. <laughs> And then once you've created your portal, I'm gonna add a sun. Now I'm gonna tweak a few settings to kind of match the shadows. All right, and then I'm gonna add a plane, and this is gonna kind of be like the doorway to the other like dimension. All 
And then in the shader tab, I'm just gonna make it completely blacked out. So once you actually have your portal rendered out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this image into our scene, and then we're gonna go over to transform and then fit to comp. And then now we have our portal in our scene. So this is pretty much like the same exact steps from the last tutorial. So now what we are gonna do is rotoscope. Now this part, depending on what the shot is, it could take a while. Um, it's a very tedious process, but it will be worth it in the end. And I am using um, Rotoscope 2.0 to roto this out. And then once you're done rotoscoping, you should have something that looks similar like this. And obviously it's not perfect, but for the sake of the tutorial, I just kind of added to rush it a little. And so now this is where you can really start having fun. I really didn't plan this out that well. I kind of was just putting a bunch of random stuff together. I decided to go for like this dark energy sort of vibe. So I added a bunch of different energy assets. And then I added some distortion. And then I just added a bunch of stylistic effects to kind of just make it look cool and dream-like, dreamy, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I just ended up adding just a bunch of different stuff. Um, I added some camera movement to make it feel more dynamic. And I almost forgot, I actually should have done this first, but we are gonna add a few effects to the portal layer itself to kind of match the actual footage. So we're gonna start by adding a grain, and then we're gonna go select final output, and then we're gonna tweak the settings to so it matches the background. And then I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur effect, And then I'm gonna add a Lumetri color. And then you can kind of just tweak the settings to get it to match the environment. And now putting all those steps together, you should have something pretty similar to this.
so that pretty much wraps up this tutorial this wasn't as organized as i would have liked it to be um i kind of had to rush the process a little if you did enjoy this though i will be uploading more tutorials more stuff like this right now i'm just kind of testing new workflows and seeing what works what doesn't if you guys have any suggestions for tutorials you want me to make comment down below and with that being said i will see you guys in two weeks i swear you will actually see me in two weeks not like three months okay